Hello everyone, welcome back to Play with Circuit. In this video, we will learn how to control DC motor using L29 3D motor driver IC with an Arduino Uno. Controlling a DC motor involves regulating its speed and direction of rotation. We will use two methods to achieve full control over the motor. Pulse width modulations for speed control and an edge bridge for direction control. We can control the speed of DC motor using pulse width modulation. In this technique, the average power provided to the motor is modified by delivering voltage in the sequence of pulse. The percentage of time the signal is in on state within each pulse period is represented as the duty cycle. By regulating the duty cycle, we can effectively control average power supplied to the DC motor. A higher duty cycle means higher average power, resulting in a faster motor speed. A shorter duty cycle means lower average power, resulting in a slower motor speed. To control the direction of rotation of a motor, we need to reverse the polarity of the voltage applied to the motor. This can be done using an edge bridge circuit configuration. It consists of four switch elements. Typically, transistor arranged in a configuration that resembles the letter H. By turning on and off two opposite switch, the H bridge can reverse the polarity of the voltage applied to the motor, effectively changing its direction. The L29 3D is a dual H bridge circuit motor driver IC that allows you to control the direction and speed of two DC motors. With this motor driver IC, you can control two DC motors. Pin 1 and pin 9 are enable pin which are used to control the speed of DC motor. Pin 2, 7, 15 and 10 are input pin which are used to control the direction of a DC motor. Pin 3, 6, 14 and 11 are output pin which are used to control the DC motors. Pin 4, 5, 13 and 12 are ground pin. This pin is connected to the ground. Pin 8 and pin 16 are the voltage pin. Pin 16 provides power to the IC. So, this pin should be connected to the 5 volt. Pin 8 which is VCC2. This pin is connected to the motor supply voltage. It is the voltage that gives power to the internal H bridge of the IC to drive the motor. If you want to connect 4 DC motor with this IC, you can do that also. You just need to connect 4 DC motor to the output pin of the IC. As you can see, I have connected 4 DC motors to the output 1, output 2, output 3 and output 4. When we are giving input from the input pin, the motor is rotating. As we are giving it 1, which means motor will start rotating. When it is 0, motor will stop. To make this project, you will need a Arduino Uno, an L29 3D motor driver IC, 9V battery, a potentiometer, a breadboard, some jumper wires, Two DC motors. Before we dive into the wiring, let's take a look at the circuit diagram. I have connected two DC motors with IC. I will be using potentiometer for controlling the speed of DC motors. Let's move to the connection part. Now that we have our circuit setup ready, let's move to the coding part. Here is the code to control the motors. So this is the coding part for our project. Firstly, we have defined pins which are connected to IC to the Arduino. Enable pin of IC is connected to pin 11 of Arduino and another enable pin of IC is connected to pin 6 of Arduino. IN1 and IN2 is connected to pin 10 and 8. IN3 and IN4 are connected to pin 12 and 4. This is the connection for potentiometer. Middle pin of potentiometer is connected to analog A0 of Arduino. In the void setup part, we have set all the pins as our output. Here we have set initial motor speed to 0. Then moving towards the loop part. 
This code is used to read the value from potentiometer. This line is used to map the potentiometer value. So basically this code is used to control the direction of motor. IN1 is set high. This line is used to control the speed of motor using a potentiometer. So that's all about the code part. Now let's upload the code to your Arduino board and see it in action. Code link and circuit diagram I have given in the description. As you can see, when I am rotating the potentiometer, the speed of motor is changing. If you like the video, then do like and subscribe my channel for more amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching.